Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Welcome everyone This is Rami Uraba uh, Today we'll continue our HVAC videos and we'll talk about chilled water system component Chilled water system component will talk about basic component First thing we'll talk about is chiller A chiller will have two types Air cold types and water cold types and you can find it easily in our notes chiller types and also you can find our chiller videos video 1 and video 2 in our youtube channel in case of water cold chiller we should use cooling tower which we'll talk about it later second thing is pumps Pumps we have in suction pump and in line pump and we have five parts for pumps discuss everything about pumps type installation everything you will find it easily in our website third is air handling unit which you call, which we call it AHU you can find everything regarding AHUs in our notes part 2 fourth is fan coil unit FCU and also you can found it easily in our HVAC notes part 2 number 5 is supply and return chilled water network including valves and accessories and we have a discussion regarding this subject in our part 2 HVAC notes Number six is supply and return duct, including duct insulation, dumpers, and accessories. Also, you can find it easily in our HVAC notes part three. Number seven is outlets, and number eight is PMS, which is building management system, and we'll discuss it later in other videos and other notes. Let's start with air cooled chiller network. Air cooled chiller system diagram. How is this system equal? First, we can we have a chiller which is air cooled. We have a chilled water pipe from a chiller to a chilled water pump. From a chilled water pump, we have supply chilled water pipes which feed HUs which feed also fresh AHUs and feed fan coil units then we have return chilled water pipe coming from fan coil unit coming from fresh AHUs and from AHUs direct to the chiller okay now this is the chiller or the chilled water pipes how we can get the air cold in the building how can I get air conditioning in the building we have supply duct coming from HUs and each branch it's another system with uh, we can install VEV or CV, CV, CAV VEV that's mean variable air volume and CAV that's mean constant air volume and this if you want to make a separate thermostat for each space so if we need separate thermostat for each space and these spaces it's fed by one HUs we should install VEV or CAV and also we'll discuss it later then we have the return duct which is coming from the uh, space in the building to the AHU same we have in fan coil unit we have also supply duct in the space which we need air conditioning in it and the return for this one yani it's always like it will be a free return not duct now we'll talk about fresh AHUs this fresh AHUs receive the fresh air coming from outside 
a spare uh, sorry with a fresh duct and we should install center blower to avoid any sand to be inside the duct we should install volume damper to control the quantity of air which we take it from outside and the pre-filter to make sure that there is nothing or something uh, not good in our air and this fresh HU we feed it we feed the air from this HU to the HUs or to the fan coils or we can take fresh air to anywhere we need in the building so this is the air cooled chiller system diagram simply okay now let's talk about how we install this component in the building first we install the chiller okay air cooled chiller it usually installed on roof then we'll install the pumps if we have two chiller that means we have three pumps to make one standby and two duty third is air handling unit we have indoor unit and we have outdoor unit the fourth is fan coil unit which installed inside building usually it will be ceiling mounted then we'll connect between all this equipment with supply a chilled water pipe which feeds the equipment with the cold oil with the cold water coming from the chiller and temperature temperature from the chiller it will be 5 or 6 degree Celsius degree it will coming from a chiller riser this riser it will feed HU and fan coil inside building and it will feed the outdoor unit then we'll start to install the return chilled water pipe which collect all return water from the equipment inside building and return it back to the pump and the grid will be around 10 12 Celsius as we see it's coming from equipment indoor and outdoor and go direct to the header of pump section then we have this charge for each pump it's collected with one header and go direct to the chiller next we'll talk about supply duct supply duct it's including number air outlets as you see it's coming from HU and we have some branches these branches feed each, each space with outlets as we see this second branch okay it feeds also another space same branch with the spaces and as we said before these branches if you need to make separate thermostat for each space you should install VEV or CEV on each branch also we have from the fan coil unit duct and outlet then we talk about return duct return duct it's coming from the space including dumber tower and air inlets it's coming from space direct to the eight use so this is simply how we install this equipment inside the building and now we'll talk about water cooled chiller network we'll talk about system diagram starting from water cooled chiller then cooling tower from cooling tower we have the condensation pump to chiller and this circuit we call it condensation circuit hot circuit then from chiller to condense uh, to chilled water pump from a chilled water pump with supply chilled water pipes to HUs to fresh HUs and to fan coil then same what we said before in the other system for air cooled system we collect the hot water or the return water from the equipment by return chilled water pipe to a chiller and this circuit we call it cooling circuit also we have the duct same previous network supply duct coming from HUs and we can install VEV or CEV as we discussed before 
then we have return duct from the space to the HUs. Fancoil also have same supply duct and return duct almost sorry usually it will be free. And we have fresh air duct, fresh air HU which feed from outside with temp uh, with uh, fresh air. And we should install central pluver volume number pre filter. And this HUs fresh HUs it it feed the equipment inside the building with fresh air. And we can take fresh air to anywhere in the building as we discussed before. We did an air cold chiller. We will make it for water cold chiller. How we install this equipment inside the building? First of all, in this system we have two buildings. First is mechanical rooms, which have a water cold chiller. We call it condensation circuit, as we discussed in the diagram before. From the chiller, we have the cooling tower, which which put it which installed on roof. From cooling tower, we have the condensation pump and to the chiller. Now we'll talk about cooling circuit. Cooling circuit, it will be inside the building. You will find it here. From the chiller, direct to the equipment by supply chilled water pipe, we can feed HUs and we can feed fan coil unit with cold air. Then we collect the return sorry with cold water then we return the, cool, uh, the return water from fan coil and from HUs by return chilled water pipe to a chiller a chilled water pump and from chilled water pump to the air cold chiller so this simply the circuit of water cold and how we install it on the building Thank you for watching this first video for our chiller, sorry, for a chilled water system component. Thanks for watching. Please follow us in order to receive all remaining video. Inshallah, we'll start with HUs, with all details, fan coils with all details, pumps, everything. So please follow with us and I hope it will be useful information for you. Please don't, don't forget to subscribe our channel and share the video. Thank you very much. See you.